Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. We are, we are, uh, we're, we're back with the ride alongs. You, you, you guys told us that you it's like the ride along these. Game. <laughs> so every now and then we hop in the car and, uh, and we have word on the go on the mm. Sunday. So we're kicking off the new year. Happy 2024 with, uh, with the ride along in the hood. And, uh, and, and so welcome, welcome to Hope in the Hills. <laughs> welcome everybody. My name is Kevin Lett. This is Dr. Naima Lett. Hey, hey. We're co-pastors of Hope in the Hills in Beverly Hills. I'm your your navigator for today. <laughs> He's doing and, good too. Uh, look, 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 look. <laughs> we are just passing the courthouse right now in Beverly yes. Hills. Yes. Do you know we rewatched the um, the Beverly Hills Cops One, during the uh, two and the, three? <laughs> well, as we say rewatch, I don't, as we watched them, I don't something. remember. I don't remember seeing the, y'all. Don't, don't 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 revoke don't revoke my card. But I don't remember actually seeing uh, the, the police one, sign is two, right there to the right. I mean, the, that's the police sign. That's the real police sign. What but we recognize on the on the uh, <laughs> they on were the using movie, the courthouse on the movie they were using the front of the courthouse as the police station. That is not the police station. The police station. The, look, can I sit up I think I show it. That's this is the police station. Well, we can't really see the. Uh, you, you'd have to flip I, your I, know, camera. I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> that's the actual, that's the actual police station. In the movie, they show you the courthouse, but you know that's neither here nor there. My brother told me that they were making a, they're, they're I guess they're, they're, part they're making four. a part four. <laughs> calling it Axel Eddie Murphy, Foley. Uh, Eddie Murphy coming back. Uh, so, uh, so we 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 watched we watched the three leading up to and uh, yeah, so that was one of the things we watched. We watched a lot over this over this Christmas holiday break, um, and uh, kind of got caught up on all of our different viewings and whatnot. So, yeah, but happy happy twenty twenty four. We will uh, we'll have a, a brief service today, and we will. Uh, we'll get more into what we're looking forward to and words for 2024 uh, when we come back next week. But today we're, we'll, we'll hop in and, uh, and kind of kick us off. So Hopefully you guys are prepared for the ride, uh, that you're able to like, share, subscribe, yeah. do all of the good things so that... He's still watching the, the, people, uh, the, the traffic too, guys. Yeah, so that people <laughs> who need to see this will see it. Uh, we appreciate it. And so we'll have a word of prayer. Then we'll go into the message, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. And we do have communion, so we'll we'll pull over so we can make sure that we do communion. So go ahead and get your elements if you can. Uh, Father God, thank you so much. Thank you for a new year. Thank you for your many, many blessings um, that you have already blessed us with. Thank you for carrying us. Um, thank you for your comfort and your strength. Um, we do um, We do pray for each and every one of us, that you will be with us in 2024. And we thank you in advance. Uh, now bless this word that we are receiving. Um, and, oh, <laughs> guys, look, look, look. The, um, oh, the, I, don't, I don't think I can, I can pick it up. What we have, well, of course, this is, this is where we are in, in this, is, but what we have out here with us right now that's causing a lot of uh, issues with the traffic are a lot of the tourists buses is that what they call them the mm -hmm. tourist Tour buses, buses. Mm -hmm. um that uh that take you all around the city and they they don't drive too well mm -hmm. <laughs> did i finish the prayer i don't know i think so in jesus name amen all right yeah but the tour the tourist buses uh they just they would just be doing the most they'd be doing the most all right um let's let's get in this word for today all right good people we're jumping into the word today and I want to call today's message, Life Be Lifen. Life Be Lifen. Now, that is what the sister at the post office, the sister at work at the post office said to me um, when we exchanged our uh, Happy New Year greetings. Her description of 2023 was Life Be Lifen. <laughs> and, and guess what? I knew exactly what she was talking about. I just got back to LA today. And uh, it's because I went over to the East Coast uh, to be with family. Uh, we had the memorial services of my beautiful cousin, Sherilyn. I say cousin, but she really was more like a big sister to me, especially uh, when I went to Howard University. I actually went to Howard um, because of her. She was, she was our, our first family member that, that donned 
uh, the blue and the red as we are uh, representing today, H U. You know. <laughs> We're representing today in her honor. As I said in her uh, eulogy, and thank you, family, for asking me to be able to share the eulogy and honor her life. Um, but as I said, she, she was always putting me in extraordinary situations. Like she was, she was the person who, um, she did everything that, that she wanted to do. Like she wanted to work with presidents. She worked with presidents. She wanted to write about presidents. She wrote about presidents. She wanted a global impact. She had a global impact. We are to live big, to, to live bold and no regrets, no regrets. One of the scriptures that I kept sharing and I want to share it with you today because it's so appropriate as we start the new year, is 2 Timothy 4, 7. 2 Timothy 4, 7. We are driving along Sunset Boulevard. And then, have we already passed UCLA? Approaching. We're approaching UCLA. Um, but we got UCLA on this side. We got Bel Air on this side. Um, but, you know, it's we've had rain. And so whenever we've had rain, it's such a beautiful, um, beautiful sight to see. Yes, 2 Timothy Chapter four, verse seven, verse seven, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. For 2024, what is, the, what is your good fight? What is your race? How do you keep the faith? What's your good fight? Some, some of us right now, we're fighting for our lives. If you're literally fighting for your life, then that's a good fight. We want, we want you to fight for life, fight for freedom, fight for justice, right? Um, maybe, you know, maybe you're fighting for your family. These are all good fights to fight. Maybe you're fighting for your dream. Fight the good fight. And notice here that, um, you know, he, he, he quali Paul qualifies it with good fight. <laughs> that means that all fighting is a good fighting. All conflict is a good conflict, right? We want to fight the good fight, not just fight to be fighting with people. Uh, what, what we definitely want to do is try to resolve things, right? So in all of our relationships, do our best to resolve things. That means that we have to have honest conversations and we have to do the best that we can to, um, you know, to go to people, as the Bible says, you know, if, there, if there's an offense, you know, there's an offense, go and try to deal with that offense, do your very best, you know, do the very best that you can. But then some, some stuff, guys, some stuff we don't have to even get involved in at this stage in the game. <laughs> you can tell if it's worth it or not. If you, you don't have, we don't have to keep going around the same mountain for 40 years. Uh, some people just love drama. Some people just love meddling. Some people just love love contentiousness. Is that a word? <laughs> so, so choose your battles wisely is what I'm saying in 2024. There's some people that we're just going to have to look at and say, Sam Ballad, I am not coming down <laughs> to fight with you. I have better things to do, right? Like, you know, you pull, that, that's what I call pulling, pulling a Nehemiah. Right? We pull a Nehemiah and we go, I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down off this wall. Right. Like, like you can you can say what you want to say. You can do what you want to do. I ain't coming down off this wall. And so for, for some in 2024, that's just got to be your posture, because there's some people that are trying to fight, fight and come against you. And, and it's just a waste of time and energy. Right. And mind you, ca caveat, pray for sisters right now, because sisters are under attack all over this, all over this nation, all over this globe. It happened to me. It's happening to some of my friends. It's happening nationally. Sisters are under attack, <laughs> and some of it is just an all-out assault, particularly on, on sisters who are educated and professional and on the move. Um, but in every in every sense of the word, these are these are things we need to keep in prayer and be be willing to fight the good fights, right? Where where it matters and and where we need to be fighting versus some of this other stuff that's just meant to sap our energy and keep us running around in circles and assault our emotions and all of those different things. But let's, let us pray for discernment in 2024 to know which, which of the fights are good fights and where we need to put our energy. But 2024, we want to fight the good fight. Paul also says, I finished, the, I finished my race, right? I finished the race. What is the race that you're running right now? Do you even know? 2024 is the Olympics. Y'all know I love some Olympics. I love some Olympics. <laughs> and so in 2024, do you know which Olympic race that you are running right now? Um, 
What are we back? What are we doing? What's the sound for? <laughs> Kevin, it's like, just keep going, keep going. Guys, if y'all keep seeing signs that say go Bruins, please know that we are, we are, um, we are, uh, we are exploring the campus because it's a little bit slower over here. Uh, and we can, we can go a little bit slower, but we're not, we're not, we're not endorsing, uh, or saying anything about Bruins one way or the other. There are no HBCUs in LA. <laughs> So we've adopted UCLA <laughs> as our local because campus. It's our local campus and where we've done outreach and where we have many, many friends um, and whatnot. But, you know, but we also we also love USC. So, yes. you know, and I and I, I spent a semester at USC when I was at Howard. So, you know, we, we don't have a dog in this fight. <laughs> but, but I know you probably see the signs. So that's why I'm saying. it. OK, run your race. What is your race in 2024? Do you know, do you know what you're supposed to be putting your hands to right now? <laughs> do you know if it's a relay? Do you know if you're the first leg, first leg or the second leg or the third leg? Or, you know, are you the close up? Like, like, are, do you have direction? And if you don't have direction, can we get direction in 2024? Can we know which race we're, race we're running? Can we know how far along in the race we are? Right? Like when, when you're running a race, say it's a marathon, you know if you're at the beginning of the marathon, if you're in the middle of the marathon, or if you're at the end of the marathon, can we can we have some sort of of understanding? Because depending on where you are in the race, it requires a different energy. It requires a different strategy. It requires different team and different methods. So it would be very very wise at the beginning of this year to begin to try to discern where we are in the race so that we can finish the race. And the last part of that, Paul says. I kept the faith. He says, I kept the faith. What I want to encourage each one of us in 2024 is to, no matter what, right? No matter what's going on, no matter what's happening with the elections that are going to come up, no matter what's happening um, all around us, if we can center on who God is and what he's doing and what he has already done, we want, we want to, we want to be those people who have kept the faith all the way to the very end. I know, uh, in, you know, in the last three years, four, well, almost going on four years have been a, a challenge for, for so many of us, right? And I know that, you know, many saw a pandemic, but I believe the Lord, you know, was giving us preparation, right? Um, many saw a strike. And I, I saw God's provision, right? Like, um, here, here's, if, if you have ears to hear, please hear. And keeping faith and keeping the faith, the last three to four years have been a time where many of us have been tried um, in obscurity, it's felt like, right? Everything's shut down. We've been tucked away. But in those moments of being tucked away, We've really had to, we really had to dig in our heels and figure out where our, where our faith comes from. And so, you know, in the coming year, in the coming year and years, it may seem as if, um, people are going to pop up and you're going to be like, where they come from? What happened here? What happened? <laughs> uh, and how, how they get so solid? What in the world? But it will be because that faith was forged in the darkness. That faith was forged when nobody was watching. That faith was forged just as it was in Paul's case. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Don't sing. <laughs> we don't have copyright. Page. We don't have a copy. Kevin said we don't have a copyright to, to sing. Actually, we do. Yes, to we do. It, to yeah, perform we do. it. <laughs> but you don't know the song. Your watch going off? It's just an alarm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where were we? Back to what we were saying about Paul. He, uh, he had a, an extraordinary transformation. And, um, and so what ended up happening is Paul went away for a while. It talks about it in the book of Acts. He went away for a while. He had, um, an experience in which he was in, it was, he was in obscurity with the Lord as he began to forge his faith. And so for many, the last three to four years, it's felt like you have been away with the Lord, that it's, it's been a time of just 
much uh, testing and feeling like um, everything's fallen apart because it has, and um, and then trying to to find you know trying to find your way, or um, and it's okay, right? Because when we go through when we go through these times where our faith is forged in these dark spaces with the Lord, when the, when the light shines and when we are brought into the light, um, our faith is not shaken, right? We've seen so many times where people have um, come into a relationship with the Lord. They're in the national and international spotlight before they can even figure out what their theology is. They've got a PR firm working for them. They've got interviews. They've got products they're trying to sell. <laughs> Albums they're trying to release. <laughs> Reality shows they're trying to do. It's like they're using their faith as a commodity to parlay them into a whole new audience, per se. But when life hits, because life be life in, um, their faith is shaken. And many times they're not quite sure what to do and how to respond. And they end up in situations where it's, oh, this is where I usually go to film. This is, this is one of my spots on campus where I come and, and film sometimes with you guys. It's, it's, by, the, it's by the arts building. Uh, y'all know I love. And the know, guest house. Y'all know, know I love a good arts building. What do you mean the guest house? Guest house is across the street. Oh. <laughs> UCLA has a guest house. You, you know this how? <laughs> I just read the sign. I said UCLA guest house. Um, uh, we're, we're finishing up anyway, but yeah. So, um, so yeah, life be life in and stuff hits and then faith has not been forged in the, in the quiet spaces and in the dark spaces. And so life falls apart and faith falls apart. But as, as Paul says, he, he got to the end of life because he had spent the time in the beginning uh, with the Lord um, and forging his faith. So by the time he gets to the end and says, my life is being poured out, and guess what? I fought the good fight. I, kept, I finished the race and I kept the faith. I want to encourage each and every one of us as we come into this year, 2024, figure out what the good fight is, right? Figure out, figure out where to put your hands, where to put your energy. Figure out what race you're running. Right. Like all of our races are not the same. I can't run your race. You can't run mine. Right now we, we may be in relay together, but even that we need to know. Right. What are your partnerships this year? Who are you partnering with? Who are you doing life with? Who are you in business with? All of these things matter. Figure out like who, 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 who are we running with this year? What's the race? Who are we running? And then most importantly, keep the faith, keep the faith, whatever faith has been forged in the dark places, especially over the last three to four years, just know that that faith will stand the test of time. That faith will stand when you're in the light. That faith will stand. We want to keep the faith. Fight the good fight. Run the race. Keep the faith. All right, good people. Thank you for, uh, for, for, for running with us, for, for going with us. We're going to do communion. Let me pray for us, Lord God. Thank you for this time. Thank you for, uh, for life. Thank you for um, comforting us when our loved ones have passed away. Um, we do praise you and thank you for, um, for who you are. And, um, and we thank you for the reminder that, um, just like in Paul's case, that we can fight the good fight. We can finish our race. We can keep the faith. Please speak to everyone at the top of this year. Give us wisdom, discernment, give us direction. We pray in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Amen. Do you have your elements, your juice, your crackers? Okay, the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take and eat. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Take and drink.
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lord God, we thank you for this time of communion. We thank you, Father, um, for reminding us to be in communion with you. Lord Jesus, thank you for the breaking of your body and the pouring of your blood that we can be joined with you. On this first Sunday in January 2024, we come into communion with you and recommit our lives to you. We ask that uh, you would be Lord, that you would be Lord over this year, that you would be Lord over our lives, that you would be Lord over our families, over our jobs and careers, over our dreams, uh, over our hopes, that you would be Lord over all of our relationships. We invite you to ev into every aspect of our lives and we pray that you will rule and reign, lead and guide. Uh, we absolutely need you and we thank you. Now, please forgive us for all of our sin, for every way we've offended you, and, um, and we forgive others, Lord, for, uh, for every way they've offended us. We release all things, and we just refuse to hold bitterness and unforgiveness in our hearts. We thank you for a clean slate as we start 2024, and we give this year unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All righty. Thanks for hanging with us on this morning as we have, have uh, done our drive. Appreciate you all. Mm -hmm. Remember that the race is a marathon, not a sprint. That is true. We all have our own times of when we're going to finish, but we're all in it together. What are, what are you doing? So <laughs> I'm just putting this stuff away. <laughs> just talk, just talk and then, then we can put the stuff away. <laughs> Okay. He's you, very efficient. You worried about the sounds and stuff. Yes, yeah, a lot going on. Anyway, love you guys. We appreciate you. And um, giving him some more we light. We ask too. that you continue to support the work of Hope in the Hills. We appreciate those who continue to give. Thank you. Um, it's because of your gifts, because of your kindness, because of your prayers um, that we're able to have the fortitude to keep trudging forward mm -hmm. and doing as God has gifted us to do as he has purposed us to do um, and we'll continue to do so uh, if you need to know how to support the work of the ministry you can go to hopeinthehills.org slash give mm -hmm. or net slash give and you'll get all the different options or text hope in the hills to 44321 and we appreciate you guys we love you guys and we look forward to seeing you really soon Happy New Year once Happy again. Happy New Year. And yeah. uh, take care. Have a blessed week. All right, good people. Love you guys. Peace.